Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be answering the most important question in the history of cloud computing, and that is, why is my hair blue? No, actually, that's not it. We're going to be answering the question of, oh, 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 sorry. We're going to be answering the question of how much money can you make entry level for each job in cloud computing? So let's go. So for this video, I searched the average salaries for the overall average salaries for India and the United States. And yes, I did India because a lot of you are from India. So I figured why not give you something from your market? I looked at the salaries from zero to one year. So zero to one year means beginning working at the job and not right out of school, zero to one years of experience and the average salary for each market. Now for India, let me add this. I did not convert the currencies. This is what I found on Glassdoor for the market of India. Also, some of those jobs aren't there. So there's missing data or very inaccurate data. So I will actually highlight those uh, inaccuracies. So let's get started. So the first job that we're going to be looking at is cloud developer. So cloud developer is somebody who writes code for the cloud. It's really just that simple software developer for in the cloud, right? So basic software developer job, the starting salary zero to one year in the US market is $103,000. And with a little bit more experience, we're looking at $112,000 uh, for the overall market for that job. For India, we're looking at 560,000 rupees for zero to one years of experience and on average $1 million for like the overall job. Next up, cloud network engineer. Cloud network engineer is the person who is in charge of implementing and managing network infrastructure in the cloud. So think about virtual networks, virtual appliance like firewalls or load balancers and things like that, routing and all that stuff in the cloud. So same thing as you would have in premise, but with cloud infrastructure instead. Zero to one year in the US market, we're looking at $103,000. And overall, we're looking at $123,000 on average in the US market. For the Indian market, there was not a lot of good data for zero to one year. It says 433,000 rupees for zero to one year and 700,000 um, rupees for the overall market for this job. Next, cloud data engineer. So the cloud data engineer is the person who is in charge of making sure data gets from point A to point B in the right format, in the right time. This is more or less the same thing as a DBA, a database administrator, but in the cloud. In the US market for that job, we're looking at $104,000 for zero to one year and roughly $116,000 for um, the overall market for that job. In India, we're looking at 627,000 rupees for um, zero to one years and 828,000 rupees for the overall market for this job. Next, site reliability engineer. This is a big new one that's uh, coming up in cloud computing. That is somebody who makes sure that a site, a website and things like that is reliable. Obviously, that's what the name says. Um, basically, you think about it as like a, a software developer kind of, but just for site infrastructure, making sure that everything is running properly, looking at errors, making sure to address proactively uh, the, the issues in the cloud. And, you know, it's similar to DevOps, but really more focused on the infrastructure side, whereas DevOps is more focused on the software side. So. Yeah, but that's a big up and coming role. We're looking at $107,000 for zero to one year and $126,000 uh, for the overall market for that job. For India, for zero to one year, we're looking at 1 million rupees and the overall market for this job is 1.1 million rupees. Next, 
cloud security engineer. So this is the person who's uh, in charge of maintaining the security infrastructure for a company, uh, you know, implementing policies, uh, auditing uh, infrastructure to make sure that everything is safe, implementing uh, remedies for like problems that you have security wise and all that stuff. For this job for zero to one year, we're looking at $110,000 and the average for this uh, job in the US market is $124,000. In India, we're looking at 780,000 uh, rupees and with the overall for this market is 950,000 rupees. It's cloud solutions engineer, this is somebody who is in charge of developing and implementing solutions for uh, the cloud. A little bit like cloud engineer, but not really. And we'll see cloud engineer later. For this job, you're looking at $113,000 for the zero to one year of experience and uh, $136,000 for the overall market for this job. So you're looking at 551,000 rupees for uh, the entry level for zero to one year of this job and 1 million rupees for the overall market. Next, DevOps engineer. So DevOps engineer, like we said with site reliability engineer, uh, DevOps engineer is somebody who's in charge of the life cycle of software from the development, the implementation, the infrastructure to an extent, and, you know, monitoring the software and, you know, making sure that software lifecycle is uh, good, right? So you're able to easily deploy, easily monitor, so continuous integration, continuous development, CICD. So this is somebody who's in charge of this pipeline for a company. A big role uh, that's uh, very up and coming in the cloud space. A DevOps engineer, you're looking at $115,000 for zero to one years of experience and $132,000 for the overall market in the US. For India, you're looking at 600,000 rupees for zero to one year and 800,000 for the overall market. Next, we have cloud native engineer. So cloud native engineer is somebody who develops solution for cloud native tools. Think about uh, Kubernetes, serverless, um, you know, all, all these cloud native technologies. In the US, zero to one year of experience, you're looking at $120,000. And for the overall market, you're looking at $130,000. India doesn't have great data for this. They're saying 300,000 for um, zero to one year and 330,000 for the overall market, which is not correct. Probably not correct. Next up, we have cloud engineer. Cloud engineer is your catch all job title in the cloud. This is the one that is really in charge of implementing everything. Uh, it's, it's the job that you have if your company is getting started in cloud computing. For this, you're talking about $127,000 for the entry level, zero to one year, and $152,000 for the overall market in the US. In India, you're looking at 500,000 rupees for the zero to one year and 740,000 rupees for the overall job uh, market. And now we are in the realm of cloud architects. So these architects are really in charge of the bigger picture, the organization planning things for the whole organization. First up, cloud network architect. Cloud network architect, cloud network architect is somebody who is in charge of planning the network infrastructure, making these decisions about what tool we're going to be using, how we're going to be using them. What is our network going to look like? Is it going to be flat? Is it going to be hub and spoke? Is it going to be what have you? They're going to be in charge of figuring out this architecture that then the network engineer is going to implement. For this in the US market, we're looking at 141,000 dollars for the zero to one year and 169,000 for the overall market for that job. Unfortunately, there was no data for India. So I'm sorry, maybe that's not a job in India. Next, cloud data architect. Cloud data architect is somebody who has the bigger vision for how the data is going to look like, what is going to go where, um, 
what is the standard that everybody's going to be using? Is it going to be Parquet? Is it going to be CSVs? Are we going to put data in a database? What type of database are we going to be using? Is it going to be a Postgres? Are we going to use, um, you know, MongoDB? Are we going to use SQL? So this is the person who's really in charge of that vision for data warehousing in the cloud. In the US market for the zero to one year for this position, you were looking at $158,000 and the overall for this uh, job is $181,000. For the Indian market, the zero to one year data is not very really accurate because 26,000 rupees, based on what I've seen with the other jobs, probably not the correct amount. But for the overall market, we're looking at 3 million rupees. Uh, given what I've seen for the pattern here, probably not correct, but who knows. Next, we have Cloud Architect. Cloud Architect is somebody who really oversees the whole solution, right? The whole cloud solutions, how we're going to do things, uh, what is going to be our standards, what are the databases we're going to be using, and if something comes up, they're the ones who really architect the thing, plan out, what connects to what and how and all that stuff makes those decisions uh, for the company. We're looking at $164,000 for the zero to one year of a cloud architect and $196,000 for the overall. In India, we're looking at 400,000 uh, rupees for zero to one year and 2 million rupees for the overall market. Uh, which is a huge gap. Next, we have Cloud Solutions Architect. This is basically the same thing as the um, Cloud Architect, maybe a little bit more towards uh, individual problems, solutions, you know, uh, you know, like one application, how we're going to de deploy and structure this one application. You're looking at 170,000 for zero to one year and 195,000 for the overall market for this job. In India, you're looking at 380,000 rupees for the zero to one year and 2 million rupees for uh, the overall market. And lastly, we have the cloud security architect. This is the most important person. This is the person who really plans out the security strategy for the cloud. What are going to be the standard? What are, are the things we're going to compromise on if we want to uh, how much money are we going to have in the budget for this? This is a person who really plans the security strategy for the cloud for a company. And that's why the entry level zero to one year is $173,000 for this job and $206,000 for the overall average for the job market in the US. In India, there was no data for the zero to one year, but the average said 1 million rupees. I doubt that's correct given the progression pattern, but that's what it says. So I hope this was helpful and answered your question as to why my hair is blue. Uh, no, sorry. Again, we're not talking about that. We're talking about how much you can make in cloud computing for various jobs. If you like this video, subscribe. And if you want to see more, you can look at this video right here or this playlist, and it will take you to where you need to be. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.